This is problem number two from activity two, summer jobs. And this problem is about Han and Claire and how much they make stuffing envelopes during the summer. So remember these four representations. And Han, in this case, is going to be, it's going to be a description of his um, situation stuffing envelopes. And there's going to be a table of Claire's situation stuffing envelopes. And then your task is to bring these two together in some way so you can figure out who makes more money, what the unit rate is or the rate of change is, and how much does each one of them make if they stuff 1,500 or 1,500 envelopes. But first, let's look at um, just working through the information that we know, and we'll begin with Han. So let's see if we can get to his equation. So remember, try to go back to what you know as you try to figure out these problems. And you know that y equals kx. You know that k is the constant of proportionality. That is y over x. You know that it is also the slope. y over x is the number of units in the vertical direction compared to the number of units in the horizontal direction. And you also know that it is the unit rate. How much does y change for every single unit that x changes? That's the unit rate, also called the rate of change. So Han makes $15 for stuffing 300 envelopes. So that's money per envelope. So $15 per 300 envelopes. And that is the same as y over x. So m money in this case is going to be the y value. And e, the number of envelopes in this case, is going to be the x value. And that's actually shown, no, actually, let's look at the equation then. So y equals kx. So y over x is k, or money over envelopes is k. So $15 over, th yeah, per 300 envelopes. So money is equal to $15 per 300 envelopes right here times the number of envelopes that you um, stuff. And so money, so if you simplify this fraction, it simplifies to five cents, five one hundredths of a dollar. So money is equal to five cents for every envelope that Han stuffs. So he stuffs an envelope, it's like throwing a, a nickel into a jar. On the other hand, let's look at the table for Claire and see if we can't get to her equation using this information in this table. Now, we usually set up the y values in the right column, the x values in the left column, and we start with the x value. So, gee, I stuffed 400 envelopes. How much money did I make? And so you're going to calculate that you made $40. I stuffed 900 envelopes. How much money did I make? Well, you're going to calculate that you made $90. And that calculation is based on this constant of proportionality. It's the y value divided by the x value. So how much money did you make? Well, it's, it's 40 divided by 400 times that 400. Going to get you back to 40. So that, but this is just to figure out the constant of proportionality. Um, so it's 40 divided by 400, 90 divided by 900. So every case, that is going to equal one tenth or one dime, 10 cents. So that is constant. That's why it's called the constant of proportionality. And Claire's equation, if you go back to y equals kx, so the amount of money, so the amount of money is y. That is equal to um, x, or the number of envelopes, times the constant of proportionality. So for Claire, she makes 10 cents every time she stuffs an envelope. So it's like tossing a dime into a jar every time she stuffs an envelope. So you can tell right away that she makes twice as much money as Han. All right, so let's get both of these to 400 envelopes. That way we can compare them directly. How much money does Claire make for 400 envelopes? Well, she makes $40. If we can get Han to 400 envelopes, the amount of money he makes, then we can compare that directly. Well, he makes $15 for 300 envelopes. So I want to know 400 envelopes. So that's 400 over 300. So that's 4 thirds. So you take 300, you divide that into three equal parts. That's 100 each part. You need four of those. That's going to get you to 400. 
that tells you what to multiply the $15 by. So you're going to multiply $15 by 4 thirds. Well, it's 15 divided by 3. That's 5. What's 5 times 4? So actually 5 is, is 1 third of 15, but you need 4 of those thirds. So 4 times 5 is equal to 20. So Han makes $20 for 400 envelopes. So he makes, again, half as much money as Claire. And that's consistent with these equations back right here. Uh, Claire makes twice as much money as Han. Han makes half as much money as Claire. So that answer is consistent with the equations. All right, what about the 1,500, 1,500 envelopes? Han makes $15 for 300 envelopes. You could use the equation and just multiply 1,500, 1,500 envelopes times 5 cents. That's going to get you to $75. Or you can use this ratio to figure it out. So if you get $15 for 300 envelopes, 5 times that is 1,500 envelopes. That means that you have to multiply this 15 by 5. It gets you to $75. Claire, on the other hand, <clears throat> makes um, $30 for 300 envelopes. So you can multiply her 300 by 5. That gets you to the 1,500 envelopes. But um, 30 um, times 5 gets you to $150. So again, she makes twice as much money as Han when they stuff the same number of envelopes. So $150 is twice as much as $75. And so the unit rate, the unit rate is how much money you make per envelope. And we got that from the equation and we can figure it out once again. So $15 divided by 300 is five cents for every envelope that Han stuffs. And um, 1,500 divided by, I'm sorry, 150 divided by 1,500 is 10 cents for every envelope that Claire stuffs. So the unit rate is per one envelope. So how much money do they make for a single envelope? We talked about that before. So um, Han gets a nickel for every envelope he stuffs. Claire gets a dime for every envelope that she stuffs. So Claire, once again, makes twice as much money as Han makes per envelope. And I would add to this problem two other things. One is that you should write a question and solve for which you use the reciprocal of the constant of proportionality or you divide by the constant of proportionality. So write a problem where you have to use the reciprocal or divide by the constant of proportionality. So the problems we just looked at is you multiply by the constant of proportionality. Well, what are you calculating? What are you doing? If you have to multiply by the reciprocal, which is the same as dividing by the constant of proportionality. And finally, I would graph both of these, graph both Hans and Claire's data. And I would use the equations to graph them, build a table, get some values. You have to decide what the scales are, label the axes, and practice putting together those graphs.